Hello and welcome back to Grand Arena Championships. I'm Heathen13. This is the first round of the final week of Season 10. This is our final week of our 3v3 and then we'll hopefully be back to 5v5. And so far we are 8 and 1. We're just a little bit away from Kyber. A win or two here in this last round and we should have it. This round I match up against Howdy. So let's take a look at the matchup. You can see I have the majority of the green on my side on the hotbot. Let's zoom in, take a look. In terms of statistics, I do have the edge, but Howdy is no pushover. He has 343,000 lifetime banners. He has just a few less offensive wins than me. He goes undersized quite a bit and clears quite a bit. So Howdy is a strong competitor. In terms of our rosters, I do have an advantage on GP. Overall, top 80, top 65. I also have about 10 more Zetas than he does and a speed advantage. When looking at mods, I also have an advantage there, both overall six stop mods and speed, although the speed advantage is kind of minimal. And relics, we have the same number of total relics, but he does have two tier seven relics, whereas I do not. Let's take a look at Howdy's roster to see if anything jumps out. Looking at ships first, we can see that he has the negotiator at six stars just like mine, but he has no malevolence and he, he tends to keep his negotiator for offense. I went ahead and set my negotiator on defense to try and trip him up. In terms of his roster, you can see he has all his clones and his gas relicked up. Uh, he does run gas in arena and uh, has a good squad there. He also has his Padme squad pretty relicked up with Padme, Anakin, Ahsoka, and General Kenobi. Uh, you can see he has his Separatist droids, as well as some Darth Revan. He doesn't have any big glaring holes in his roster. Um, so at this point, it just came down to wondering what he was going to set on defense. And according to SWGOH.GG, he sets a pretty light defense. So let's take a look at what he set uh, and how he did against me. See, we got about two hours left in the attack phase. He has already attacked, and he cleared the top of my bar board. I moved my Grievous up to the front, trying to get him to waste a good squad against it. He one-shot that, one-shot my Dooku, one-shot my Basti with Hoda and GK, and I put this HK droid team there. He one-shot that as well. Negotiator, he was able to get through mine uh, without much problem at all. But down here, down below... Uh, my Darth Revan and my Basil Sean Fallen both are faster than his, so I set my whole Darth Revan squad there, and he was not able to uh, get through that. I also set a Shock D clones, and he was not able to get through that. He did get through my Poggle with separate destroyed, so I believe he's done. I don't think he's suddenly going to come back and clear these two squads. So I just need to clear three zones or be more efficient than he was, although... Efficiency wise, I think he was pretty efficient on that top zone and the back now because I did not expect him to get through that front zone at all My back zone here is probably the weakest. I've set all season uh, Karth, a Mon Mothma Night Sisters and a Newt with Watt nothing here that's scary at all But I didn't expect him to get back here anyway, which he didn't uh, in the front he left me some fairly weak squads up top We've got Vader, Mission, Zalbar. We got a pretty weak bomb squad here of uh, bounty hunters, a Bassy team just like mine, and a Karth team with Candorus and T3. Down below is where, very much like me, he's setting a couple teams he thinks I can't get through. So he's got his gas squad and his shock T and then his crew. So my hope is that I clear through, um, I mean, the hope is I get a full clear. We'll see if I can pull that off or not. Uh, worst case scenario, I just go through the top and I just out efficiency him. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in right away at the gas. Uh, I am a little nervous that I won't be able to clear him. I've got two teams to clear him with. I've got my CLS and my gas squad. We're going to try CLS first and see if we can get through them. If not, we'll try gas. If not, we'll go ahead and clear everything else out and then uh, go from there. So 
So we'll start with CLS. The plan is to get um, gas down as quick as I can and then not go after fives. I want to go ahead and kill off Echo uh, because he has way less health and make a uh, super Echo, which then I can take out. So we got to see if we can pull that off. Last time I tried to do this, fives just taunted anyway, and it didn't matter. His, um, his Skywalker is seven, uh, Relic seven, so I am a little concerned that he's going to be able to tear me up before I get him down. There we go, got him down. So I'm going to, again, uh, I'm going to stun fives, I hope. No, I was hoping I could stun him so that he wouldn't taunt. Hoping to get Echo down quick. Good, there's a the sacrifice. Let's see if I can get Echo down again. Good, great. I'm going to lose. Lost CLS there. Got a lot of counterattacks. Got the stun. And let's clean up Skywalker, I hope. Love those counterattacks. And through. Very nice. So not great banners at all, only a 47, but getting through that was the key to this match, I think. All right, next up we've got the Shock T clones. Shock T doesn't, it, she's gear 12 and she doesn't have any Zetas. So my plan here is to take Padme uh, with Ahsoka. And I think I want to just blitz down Shock. Um, Although I might be smarter to take out Rex. Let's go ahead and see if I can stun Rex. I have the healing immunity on him, which is good. So Shock wasn't able to heal him up. So yeah, I think the only my only concern on this team was getting a Rexecute off. Um, so that's now out of the picture. We'll just go ahead and take Shock out and then move on to Ark. I'm not going to get any more banners back than this. So we'll just kick him to the face. There we go. So 52. Fairly clean. All right. We have extra teams here because I, I didn't have to use my gas. At this point, I'm pretty confident about the full clear. Um, so it's just a matter of what do I want to use where. You know, I made this mall team that uh, I've set on defense several times, but I've never used on offense. So we'll go ahead and use them here. I think uh, if nothing else, Marauder just has enough defense to get through everybody. Or Marauder has enough offense, rather, just to take everybody out. Yeah, crew is only gear eight. And Sith Empire Trooper is going to take most of the hits. Again, I don't know that it would have mattered what I took there. It's such a weak um, team. All right, let's open up the back and see what he's got waiting for me. I'm not anticipating anything crazy hard. So we've got... Uh, a nice sister team, a newt with sep droids, or rather a poggle with sep droids, a newt team, and Hera. So let me go ahead and make a plan, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I've got a plan. Um, as always, I feel like I have too much offense left, so I will go ahead and take out the top first. I want to go ahead and take up the top zone and the ships so that I secure the victory, and then I will take out the back. We're going to start with this Vader squad, and for that, I'm going to use my crew. The Vader mission Zalbar synergy is all about dots, and this crew team does especially well um, with dots. So we'll go ahead and just use them to... Uh, hopefully take this team out without much problem. Executioner is the only one I have to really worry about, I think. 
in terms of uh, getting overrun. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take, stick, stay on Zalbar and take him out. This should do it. There we go. And then I'll be able to get this done back up on mission. There we go. Got stuns on both of them. That was a little dicey with um, from Vader there. Put the big hit on crew. But as you can see, all those dots are just healing him. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to recover any more health though. So 52 though works. Got a little close there at a moment. Uh, but go ahead and take that. Uh, next, we will go ahead against this... Um, Basila team and since I have him I will take gas and uh, you know there's no undersized feats or anything like that I'm not in need of banners per se there's no real reason for me to undersize so I'm just gonna take everybody All that extra protection that Basila has given will make it take me a moment here to get through uh, General Kenobi. But it shouldn't take too long. And on to Basila. And all those buffs are getting dispelled by the turret. So. That works out well. And there we go. So 53. Um, next, we'll take out the Karth team. And for that, I will use my JTR. Again, at this point, I just... Just looking to win. Um, don't need any kind of anything. I'm not worried about any feats or anything. I'd lost a battle earlier on in the season, so I'm not gunning for any kind of top um, rank or anything. Just going to take it one battle at a time and do my best to uh, make sure I get a full clear here. Really, this match all came down to could he clear my Darth Revan versus could I clear his gas? And uh, thankfully, I was able to pull through there. So another 53. Sensing a theme here with all the 53s. Um, all right, this is going to seem kind of ridiculous. This is just going to be a Jedi Knight Revan and Yoda seems like crazy overkill but it's the way my teams are kind of uh, it's the way the teams have shaken out a couple AOEs getting rid of two of them and we'll target Dengar and there we go broke the string of 53s now I'm expecting kind of a I don't want to call it junk, but a lower level fleet back here. Yeah, we got the home one. It's a full home one squad though, but I will take my malevolence and it shouldn't be an issue. And again, no reason to skimp out on anything. I'll just bring the full team. I have my own home one squad in backup as well. So if there is an issue, I can come on in with that. We'll see, I might just fast forward this. Uh, I'm not expecting it to be particularly um, exciting in any way. In fact, if I get really lucky here with the uh, spy, if I can get the target on the Falcon, it will basically be over. Nope, didn't get on the Falcon, so on the Ghost. That's okay. 
It will stretch out a little longer, but shouldn't be, still shouldn't be an issue. Just get the buzz droids up. Hmm, interesting. Have the other Y wing. Let's take that out before it can get um, its fancy debuff out. It's gone as well. I'm hoping they can take out one of my uh, vulture droids so that I can get out a reinforcement. At this point, we're just waiting for the malevolence is big, electromagnetic. Um, their old, big old EMP. One more round. See, they haven't killed any of my vulture droids, so Malevolence hasn't gotten any bonus turn meter. Okay, there we go. Well, now they've taken out a few. So we'll go do the pulse. And we'll start targeting the Falcon. And now this should be really short work of it. Unfortunately, lost Sun Fact. So banners are not going to be very good at all. I'm guessing in the 56 or something. 54. Yeah, pretty terrible. Guess it's good it didn't come down to an efficiency match. Um, cause those, that ship could have cost me. All right. Jumping on into the back here. Um, we will go after the night sisters first. We'll take the bounty hunters. And because there's no Talzin here, um, uh, I'm not even really worried about this match. We'll go ahead and see if we can get the contract up quickly since it's on uh, zombie there uh, let's see if we can get an ability block on Ventress nope uh, big hit not that big I actually started to work on gearing up my Django so he hits a little harder This will just be a matter of time here before we get the contract. There we go. Let's start working on Ventress and Daka. This should do it. Yep. Yeah. And she won't be coming back. Thanks to the unique on Django. And same thing. And there we go. So Bosk and the Fets once again with the perfect counter. Next hardest, I think, is this Newt squad. We are going to go ahead and take our bugs. Again, my preferred counter on this. And we'll pay the extortion. And let's go right after Dooku. Oh, almost. Yeah, it did. Nice. Back on to Newt. Let's get a big hit. One and we'll just bang on Django until his damage immunity goes away or until um, Newt's back up in the open. So uh, let's not do the heal yet. I think we're gonna have time. We gotta wait for Django's uh, big hit. There we go. And then we gotta kill him twice. There's once. Slow down, slow down, slow down. I shouldn't have done the big hit. Dang it. Well, that was very foolish on my part. Uh, you know, you see Spy's big hit up and it's just like kill, kill, kill. But I shouldn't have. That cost me some banners. All right. Um, we will go ahead and take this Palp Vader team against his Poggle. And let's force crush it. 
and merciless it. Let's get some ability blocks up. Oh, and or we'll just kill him. Uh, let's do a saber throw. Kill him again. And fracture him. Uh, it looks like I lost a little bit on Palpatine. Let's see if we can get that back. I don't know if Vader is short or not. Well, probably is now. So, we'll just go with it. 52, 54, gave it to me. Very nice. Well, that was nice of him. Wasn't enough to be uh, counted as short, I guess. And finally, we have Hera and Kanan and Zeb. And this just has... This just has Wampa written all over it. So, we'll just solo with Wampa, I guess. Put that on uh, auto. Couple counters here and there, and should be over. So a 56 for good old Wampa. I will start working on him, getting him to relic soon as well. But that is it. Um, 2456 to 1708. Uh, another victory secured. We got two more rounds left. Thank you very much, Howdy, for the battle. And thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you next time.